So these days, small is the new big, and Grand Seiko keeps putting out smaller and smaller pieces, it seems. And since this is the 55th anniversary of the 44 GS case, and we have had multiple larger limited edition options so far, now we are getting the smaller option, which is the SBGW289. The SBGW289 is a limited edition that represents Sakura Kukushi, or the hiding of the cherry blossom. You are probably wondering if this is some sort of hide and seek game that you play with your kids. But actually, it's referring to the moment in spring when the cherry blossoms peek through the snow under the sunshine of spring. The dial is meant to reflect this time with a dynamic color that shifts from silver to pink in different lighting. And it has a texture that looks very unique to this piece. The question today will be, do you think that this piece will be a better option for you than the SBGA413? Or is this just something for a smaller wrist guy? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once a week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Grand Seiko SBGW285, and this is another smaller case size manual wind option with a dark green dial that is great for a dressy or casual option when you change the strap. I thought that the strap on this model actually stole the show, and it was very unique and eye-catching. I recommend checking this one out if you want a smaller, thin dress watch, and perhaps like a pop of color. Wrist check time! Today I'm wearing my Grand Seiko SBGA211 Snowflake. I will always appreciate this piece because it has so many great attributes with this interesting dial, the spring drive movement, the comfortable case, and the best part of all, my favorite part of it, is the titanium weight. Now tell me which watch that you're wearing while you're watching the video, and of course make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features! The Grand Seiko SBGW289 has a 36.3 mm case width, an 11.6 mm thickness, a 42.5 mm lug to lug, a 17.7 mm lug width, a 30 mm crystal diameter, and weighs in at 130.44 grams. The case is the 44GS case, which evokes the original 44GS Grand Seiko, which was released in 1967, but is much smaller than the original. It has broad areas of Zeratsu polish on the lugs, with a small area of matte finish at the inner edge of the lugs. A small facet of matte finish is found at the top of the sides of the case, and more Zeratsu beneath. A non-screw-down crown can be found at the 3 position. The bezel is completely Zeratsu finished and sits beneath the sapphire crystal, which protrudes slightly above it. The dial looks like a Kirazuri-style texture from the Grand Seiko website, and if you macro shot it. But when I'm looking at this piece in person, it looks different to me maybe because of the size, but I really think it looks like an eggshell paint. It has a dynamic pink tone that changes to silver in different lighting, and represents the cherry blossoms peeking through the snow. The GS logo can be found at the top middle portion applied with a rose tone, and a black printed Grand Seiko beneath it. The dial markers are rectangular, and a double marker exists at the 12 position. They are all polished excellently to match the case. A black minute grade can be found between each dial marker. The hour and minute hands are a bit different than usual, and instead of Dauphine, they are more like Lance style, with a simple stick second hand. Nothing else can be found on this very clean dial, and no loom as usual is here either. The case back is closed and has limited edition at the top, with the Grand Seiko Lion in the center, and the actual number out of 1200 at the bottom. The SBGW289 uses the 9S64 movement, which is actually a manual wind. It is accurate to between losing 3 and gaining 5 seconds per day. It has a 72 hour power reserve and beats at 28,800 beats per hour. It has a total of 24 joules. The bracelet is a standard 5 link design. It has matte large links with Zeratsu polished smaller links. A folding clasp with the GS logo can be found at the end with no micro adjust. The Grand Seiko SBGW289 is surprisingly 100 meter water resistant even without a screw down crown. It's limited to 1200 pieces worldwide and can be yours for $5,400. Now for my personal opinion. Well here it is folks. I like this piece a lot, but I think at this case size, which personally is too small for me in my mind, would probably cause arguments in the morning between my wife and I between who will get to wear this one. 
Although I think it looks small on my six and a half inch wrist, it may be the size that you are looking for on yours. And the small case size folks seem to be out in full force lately. It is a truly stunning piece though, and they really shrunk down all of the markers and hands to just look very crisp and polished. I really like what they did with the dial here, and I really can't identify it, but it looks very dynamic and gives you the same effect that the SBGA413 does, but with a different texture. I also like the Rose GS logo. It really goes great with the dial. This is a really solid piece, and I will recommend this one for anyone who is looking for a simple, clean, and beautiful manual wine piece that offers a fascinating dial, pop of color, and smaller wear. Plus, this one will be very collectible at only 1,200 pieces worldwide. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, give this video a like, and share it with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.